Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's uh, Rat from Ratko Tarot and in this whole video we're gonna look into Aries uh, Sun, Aries Moon and also Aries Rising weekly general tarot reading uh, October 18th up until October 24th, uh, 2021 and uh, should you be guys interested in a personal reading with me or uh, if you do want to take my tarot classes checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website where you can view and purchase either or both of these services and uh, if you do enjoy the content here on the channel and you do wish to support us uh, just leave a like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of our weekly uploads and as well uh, live streams so with that being said uh, starting with the Aries reading the first card that you Aries have that is going to be the six of uh, cups Yes, the card, is, the card is well visible just to check out. Can you see it? Okay, so the Six of Cups uh, followed by the second card here which stands as the Death card for you and the third one of your spread that is to be the Six of Swords. The fourth card of your spread that is to be the uh, Hierophant and the last one that we have for you Aries uh, that is uh, to be the Emperor card so uh, the week is to start in a rather carefree fashion if I may say it that way but after the uh, this carefree start of the week uh, a start where you are to have a uh, how can I say rather spontaneous actions also a sources of, of joy and glee uh, and it is likely that things are to be easy going was the was the expression that I was looking for after that the uh the surrounding environment and the things for you are to take a little bit more serious term and when i do say serious term i don't mean it in a bad way where you will have to really struggle uh just on the contrary here after the uh the start of the week you are going to uh, be more channeled if i may say it that way you are going to become more courageous so to speak so to take more it's not even radical it's more like a more um important actions so you can you can become you can become even bigger so you can become even well, even more reliable so you can become even more uh consistent okay and so you can become more in control so to speak but let's not get ahead of ourselves and just see what the reading uh, or what the week is presenting by scrutinizing it and as we saw the very first card that is uh, to be the six of a cups and uh, with uh, the six of cups the start of the week like said is going to be very carefree very easy going and the six of cups really shows that uh, at the start with your career and with your relationship you are basically gonna have a joyful experiences in regards to what kind of an undertakings you are under doing at that particular time frame and uh, the card is more expressed and pronounced when it comes to personal uh, relationships when it comes to personal interactions so to speak and especially if you are single it's highly likely at the start of the week to get to be introduced or to bump up, bump up into okay or just to be um to come across I, an individual a person that you may feel kind of like a pull okay uh, a, a physical and as well emotional pull uh, it's not going to be very strong at the start and you don't have to feel obliged that you have to carry on with this thing but you may as uh, you might as well want to try it out just to see if things are going to go well in between you two because it is from where it starts and uh, right after this carefree and uh, spontaneous uh, start of the week or by the way and uh, career wise it's highly likely that the tasks that you are to be undertaking at the start of the week are going to be tasks that you will pretty much going to enjoy so you if you are to be a person who makes their plans for the week uh, work wise at the start of the week itself then you can expect that the week in term of a work is going to be a really pleasant one 
And then the second card for you, Aries, happens to be the death card. Now we all know what the death card truly is. Uh, you can see it in every book. It is the death card. It's about change. Some book says that it is about trans transformation. The tower card, it is the true transformation or it is the mother of the transformations. Death card is change and it, it's change through a substitution. It, it pretty much replaces what doesn't serve any uh, any purpose what doesn't have what doesn't have any sense anymore what doesn't make any sense anymore for the future that is into Tao life and replace it with a something new that has a bigger potential now the key here or the um how can i say the um the experience here may not be very pleasant because the death card doesn't concern itself with what you guys consider important. The death card knows what is important for you, even if you may not know it. Just to give you an example of it, you may think that you have a uh, flourishing rela uh, relationship or a friendship with somebody and you may think that that is the most important thing in your life, while in reality that relationship cannot go any further. It simply it's not going to grow anymore and therefore it doesn't make any sense to have because everything has to grow into thine life so we can grow with our life itself and so the death card the death comes about swipes out with its sight your your relationship that doesn't that pretty much lived its life and now it's simply death but you may not know it and replace it with a new as such and for that reason towards the middle of the week whatever wants to go away of your life you don't have to hold it tightly you don't have to try to borrow its time it, it will be pointless because you pretty much under the energy of the death card you won't be able to improve it in any way and so just let it go because it's going to be replaced with a similar thing that is gonna it will be able to go for a, a longer run and uh, right after this we do have the six of swords which is at the middle of the week and that card pretty much speaks about the courageous uh, view that you are to have into the future. So right after the change, you do understand that you will have to go for something new. It's pretty obvious. Just like these people here are abandoning one place and they're moving toward a new shores. Now, the problem with the Six of Swords, it is the unknown. What I mean is that you will have a pretty good idea what kind of actions you need to take or what kind of decisions you need to make at that point the problem is going to be that you won't be able to know at that point um, what circumstance what consequences i'm sorry so what consequences are going to come out of your actions or are going to come out of your decisions and therefore you are to sit in front of a a trash hole that is going to be a trash hole of a fear in reality, there is nothing for you to be afraid of, Aries, because any action or any decision making at the middle of your week is going to be far better than doing nothing. Because, like I said, you are moving from the old towards the new. And in a practical level, the Six of Swords, it's a card pointing that at this point you will be able to more or less unify what i mean it is that more or less you are going to attract more people under the common cause which is at least at that point a your cause and uh, right after that um experience the hierophant takes place and that is towards the end of the week here and at this uh, and at this stage you are going to start getting more and more benevolent support from those around you as we know you are moving toward a new shores towards something you are unfamiliar with and the hierophant is a very good um uh, how can I say attribute to it because the Hierophant really shows that there are going to be more experienced individuals that are going to accompany you into that path and they will be able to provide you with a, a very good counseling with a very good advices and in generally like I said with a, uh, a benevolent support at that stage uh, Hierophant um, 
differentiates when it comes to interpretation in terms of career and in terms of relationship. In terms of career with the higher fund, towards the end of the week, you can expect to keep up the joyful work from the six of uh, from the six of cups but at this point you are going to be more focused of the results what kind of rewards the results are going to reap for you this won't be a, a matter of discussion at this at this very point and uh, the results or rather like the rewards from the results are going to find you on their own accord and it's highly likely that you're going to be quite happy of those results the very least you're going to find them fair uh, relationship wise the hierophant only speaks about the growing trust in mutual reliability that you can have with somebody around you or with the person that you are with at that stage and should you be single even at that stage then the hierophant truly speaks about the realization what the real love is okay and what do you need at that point so you can feel a real love in your life and once you do identify that then you are going to start moving into that direction which it is the last card into your reading here Aries that is the Emperor and the Emperor is Aries itself so the Emperor here speaks that although you have attracted something new you have replaced something old with a new life out there and as everything new you just got to get the hang of it right well the Hierophant points that at the end of the week you truly got the hang of it and now you can exert it with a very reliable fashion with the very reliable actions you are to show that you can be counted on that you can be relied upon and with the emperor you also are to exert rather strong control into your environment and you can expect from there on moving forward with whatever new you have started doing here into the um into the swirling of the uh, the death card in the six of swords uh, energy to be able to face the ups and downs into in, into a its routine with a such a bear that you ain't gonna even feel that there is something going wrong because you will be able to manage everything and in the same time you are to be able to exponentially increase its yields so uh whatever new is coming your way just to summarize this reading whatever whatever old is wants to go away you should not fight against it and whatever new wants to come in your way you also should not fight your way uh, your yourself or rather like you should not close your doors for it and even if it is scary at the start don't give yourself to the fear because if you do have a goal or a dream just having a positive thinking of it it's not nearly enough to to make it true true actions are needed and for those actions courage from your behalf is needed and that courage will should be a paramount at the middle of the week where the actions or decisions are to be required from you so with that being said there is this was your weekly general tarot reading guys for a october 18th up until october 24th 2021 hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and we are to see each other next time until then Bye.